You're welcome back. It's still Plus Politics, and my name is Nyamgul Agaji. As the Saturday, March 18 date for the governorship and state assembly elections approach, political observers project that the seeming redrawing of Nigeria's electoral map, which began during the February 25 presidential and national assembly elections, could continue. That means the reign of some gladiators in some political parties and states will be determined at the polls. So, it is either the got their political kingdoms and win their uh, turf or their parties or for their parties or they are dethroned. No two ways about that. There are 17 governorship candidates of the various political parties, but the major contenders are Senator Uba Sani of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, Ashiru Issa of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Jonathan Asake of Labour Party, LP, and Senator Suleiman Hunkui of the New Nigeria People's Party, I'm talking about in Kaduna State. However, observers are of the opinion that the contest would be a two-horse race between Sani and Ashiru that is APC and PDP. Sani is a serving senator representing Kaduna Central Senatorial District and is the anointed candidate of the outgoing governor El Rufai. El Rufai has been the governor of the state since 2015 under the APC, but under his reign the APC lost the three senatorial seats to the PDP at the National Assembly polls. The main opposition party also won 10 seats out of the 16 seats for the House of Representatives in the state. Against this backdrop, Many see the Saturday governorship election in the state as both challenging and, of course, interesting. A battle to finish between El Rufai's APC candidate and the PDP. Four serious candidates are to slog it out during the March 18, 2023 poll to succeed Governor Nasir El Rufai of Kaduna State. In Kaduna State, the governorship election promises to be fierce and interesting. And we're being joined right now to discuss these uh, by Comrade Issa Abdul Rahman, Youth Advocate for Good Governance, Kaduna State. Good evening and welcome to the program, uh, Issa. Hello, Issa. Good evening and welcome to Plus Politics. Thank you very much. It's great meeting you guys. It's great being here. I'm sorry for the little bit we have a technical challenge. We're here coming from Zaria, you know, the little traffic because of the diversion. Of it's fine. Um, kind of Abuja road, you know, so I have to park to catch up with the commitment because we take our people serious and we have committed people. So I say, it's fine. Apologize. It's fine. Okay. Um, uh, some people have said that even though uh, four, there are four contenders, that is the, the major contenders are four, that is the APC, PDP, LP, and NNPC. Some people still see it as a two horse race, that is, the battle is between the APC and the PDP. Is that the situation really in Kaduna State, or these are just conjectures? Very clear. In fact, at some point, I believe the contest is between one party, which is the APC. You know, um, forget about the NNPP guys. They are just, uh, uh, what, should I, what should I call them? I mean, they are just a certain kind of destruction. The Labour Party over here in Kaduna, we are not even recognizing them as a party. They, they are not doing anything to me. Okay, talking about PDP, we, we only see ourselves the APC, and maybe the second runner of the PDP. But for us, we feel like uh, we have done so much enough to the good people of Kaduna State. So we even see that we don't have a position over here in Kaduna State. So, of course, yes. People are right to say the contest is between APC and the PDP. Can be very right to say that for us. Uh, but I, I don't see how mm -hmm. your the parameters with which you're judging what you have done in the state as APC party, because having lost ten House of Representatives seats to PDP and having lost three senatorial districts, which is the whole number to PDP, is quite alarming to me, if you ask me. So. How much have you performed, or not you, how much has APC performed that will make the people vote them out uh, from those seats? Ten House of Reps seats and three Senate seats. That is quite a number. You see, um, uh, well, I don't know if you're a politician, but this is basic politics. And uh, we are happy and glad that we have been able to run a government that has been very transparent. Winning those senatorial, losing maybe those senatorial uh, seats that you mentioned, or some of the House of the Reps, uh, the Assembly, sorry, um, Reps, yeah, 
So it's, it's not a big deal to us politically. It's part of our political conversations. But at least it tells you that we are running a very transparent government. We are running a very sincere government that is very straightforward. If you win, you win. And if you lose, you lose. But trust me, we are more than enough. We are better than them. We are not perfect. PDP has ruled this state for over 16 years. We have seen the days of Makaki, we have seen the days of Nobody Sambo, we have seen the days of Patrick Kekua, and we have seen the days of Ramani Yangu. Now, look at the names I've mentioned to you. They are all PDP guys, right? Now, we have seen the days of Malam Nasr Ahmed Al Fahi, and you can see what we have done so far. Be it in the education sector, be it healthcare sector, be it infrastructure wise, be it public policy wise, we are the best when it comes to that. We are doing better than them, we are better than them. So, Losing one or two seats doesn't mean that we as a government of a state has failed. We have proven to be the best. We have done great. But it's the matter of personality and characters. Maybe, maybe, maybe the people that those people are representing have not done enough. But we are talking about gubernatorial election right now, right? We are talking about House Assembly elections, right? Just wait and see. And you give, you, you, they, they will be very shocked. Because looking at their candidates. It's even, it's even, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed by PDP to represent somebody like Isa Aisho to be their best candidate. Who is Isa Aisho? This is somebody that has allegations on him. This is somebody that was sucked out of office at that time. Yeah, but, but, but we're, we're, we're really talking about mm -hmm. APC. We're, we're, we're concerned about APC and what they have done. We're not even really concerned about, okay, about, about, about PDP. First of all, we know that at some point, Nasir El Rufai, who is the governor of Kaduna State, more or less apologized to the people of Kaduna and said whatever mistakes he has made should not be visited on uh, the candidate who is standing now, or the governorship candidate, because the mistakes are his and it should not be visited on uh, Sani, who is contesting. And then right. we are wondering how that is going to go down with the people because Nasir El Rufai is the first person who started the Muslim Muslim ticket. Now it has almost been like a tradition that uh, Sani has also taken a Muslim for a running mate. And how do you say that someone who has not entered office should not be uh, made to pay for the mistakes that the other person has done when he has started with the first foot showing that he's going to follow everything that his uh, uh, predecessor has done. Muslim Muslim ticket is a very thorny issue in Kaduna State knowing that the, it has some of the or one of the largest Christian communities in a state, in a northern state. So how do you think that is going to play out with this kind of ticket that is taking and Nasir El Rufai apologizing to the people and begging them not to visit his own mistakes on the person who is coming and cont contesting for governorship? Well, uh, first of all, I would like to start by the issue of the apology. The issue of the apology means that we know we are human beings and we are capable of making one or two errors, human errors, right? Yeah. That tells you that we accept responsibility. We are a kind of government in Kaduna State. The APC government is a kind of government that makes decisions based on data and sentiment. Of course, Malam Nasu and Fahi, along the way, might, might make one or two mistakes. Not before. Malam is not making any reference or any point to say that we have made mistakes here or there. But because we, as a government, as human beings, believe that at a certain point, we are not perfect. Look, progress, not perfection. For that reason, Malam is trying to tell the good people of Kaduna State that everything, every single good thing that Malam National Air Fire has achieved in Kaduna State is going to be consolidated by distinguished Senator Obasani by the grace of Almighty God. Look at the investment in Kaduna State. Look at the investors coming to Kaduna State. Look at the infrastructure in Kaduna State. We are talking about improving in those good aspects of the governance, right? Now, Talking about religion, I don't like it when people bring religion into politics. It's very dangerous thing, especially in states like Kaduna. Have we forgotten when we used to have religious clashes in Kaduna State? Since when did we have that kind of thing? Now, I'm to ask you and other people that will bring the Muslim Muslim ticket into question. I'm going to ask them a question. If you are going to Dubai, for example, from Kaduna State or from anywhere you are, Mm -hmm. When you get on board into that flight, by the time you buy your ticket, maybe from Emirates Airline, you get to the airport, you board in the plane. Am I right? Right? Mm -hmm. So now, when you get uh, when you get onto that flight, do you normally used to ask about the pilot? That is that pilot a Muslim or a Christian? Or do you just bother about him being a professional pilot to take you to your destination? Secondly, we all get sick at one point or the other. Let's assume now 
my own wife is sick or maybe she's about to give birth and i take her to a hospital when i'm taking her to hospital i might start going to look for a hospital that is a muslim hospital or a christian hospital or i'm to look for a hospital that is competent and now after getting that hospital am i going to ask that okay uh no sorry Oga, i'm looking for a muslim doctor that must look after my wife no you look for somebody that is going to sort out the problem and what we are saying is that the people who are presenting to Kaduna state people are competent enough to take care of the state they have done it before look at distinguished senator obasani he is the first time senator but he is one of the best senators in the house he is the senator with the highest bills passed Look at Dr. Adiza Balare Bashabwa. She's coming from the southern part of the state. I mean, she has done so great. She has represented the women in the state so great. Ask around. Look, we'll have tangible results. When we come to this 2023 election, right, I tell people, don't do anything. Don't ask for anything. Just ask them to show you their results, and then we offer our own results. And then you compare and see who performed well, who is not performing well. Okay, who is better than the other person? It's about progress, not perfection. Religion, re your religious life should be taken out of your social life. When you get to El Bia Palo, when you get to the park, you don't ask about people's religion. When you get to football, when you get to sports, when you get to, you don't ask for their religion. Why are you asking for people's religion and a political space? Look, don't allow politicians to put religion as a tool to destabilize this country or this state. Go and look at a developed country like America. Look at developed countries like UK. Nobody is even bringing it. Religious life is totally supposed to be separated from political life. Please, when you are about politics, ask them. Ask your representatives. Ask your candidates. What have you done? Show us your result. Who are you? What are your antecedents? We okay. don't want people okay. to come and tell us you will be supporting uh, us with red boots. Okay. After uh, well, we are building I'm not. I'm not in Kaduna. Um, a lot of people who are aggrieved in Kaduna use this as one of the reasons they are aggrieved because when El Mufai so, came, he said, people, he said, uh, he said, sorry, sorry, heaven will not fall sorry. down. Uh, That's I, what he said. I but right now, that. right now, I, are you with me? One of the other complaints I'm that people sure. are complaining in Kaduna State is that when the projects were distributed the projects that you are saying that national rufai has so graciously done in the state they were not evenly distributed yeah. what is your uh, answer to that okay was that now, one of the reasons why i, I apologize yeah i get your point clear loud and clear but i i'm happy that you made it clear that you are not from the dynasty so whatever you hear is them see them see okay i would like to invite you to the dynasty i will take you around i will show you all our projects in the northern part in a government convoy part. i will be very to, safe so on, that is not on, the hold issue on, yeah. hold on hold on hold on i'm going to start by this the first thing we did in the first year is malam national rfi was being able to reform the civil service i'm very sure you are aware of that 2019 we sacked the incompetent and incompetent teachers and irrespective of their region or their religion or their beliefs or whatever we sacked the incompetent teachers in an election year a lot of people promised us that we're not going to make to the election we're not going to be voted but the governor refused to be intimidated he refused to be threatened he did the right thing for the right decision because we make decisions based on data that is the first reform when you reform the civil service of the police you reform the entire state when you build people you build the entire state please look at the civil service of Kaduna state look at the civil service commission it is guided by the federal character commission we have equal rights and equal opportunities Politicians are paying people to be sharing sentiments on social media and different media platforms. And people are being carried away by that. I don't believe in that what you see that people are agitating for because I am currently coming from a, a, a very local part of my local government. I was somewhere in Narai yesterday and I'm going as far as Sabantisha, inshallah, tonight. And by tomorrow, we are going to keep going to somewhere like uh, Kaura and Ku along abuja Cardinal. look our works are everywhere but you have to start from somewhere to get somewhere you cannot tell me that you are building a road and you start from maybe your own the, ne the next road to your house no you have to start from the access road that links to the state you have to start from somewhere and it will link to somewhere aliu makama road the pan drive road is all part of the southern Cardinal. look at the bridges okay go and look at the sabantisha markets that we built we have really, look we are in modeling markets, irrespective of 
zone, religion, what, or what have you. We are building people. Let's just, look at the just cabinet. Before we, just before we wrap up, because uh, this is a very serious. Just before we wrap up, Once because we're we running out of time, Issa. We're running out of time. How would you rate the security in Kaduna, especially in Kaduna South? I know you are saying that you are going to a remote village yeah. and all that, yeah, but yeah, how yeah, would you yeah, rate the security in that. Kaduna South? Because we have uh, reporters well, on the ground. Um, currently, I can say we are not satisfied with it, but we can okay. say we are better. And uh, a security matter is a very complex matter. I would not like to go deep into that because it's a very sensitive matter. But I can assure you that we are better in the previous government. And I can assure you that politics is at play. And I can assure you we are doing great. And we are doing great by the grace of Almighty God. I'm going to refer you to the 90s, uh, 99, 2000, and the time. Uh, look, there is somewhere called Zongwa Katafun Kedinesti. Everyone knows the challenge of security and religious clash and ethnic clashes that is to be there. The security issue in Kaduna State is an old issue. The farmers had as clashes has always been there in Kaduna, and it has always been an ethnic whatever. But by the grace of God, when Nasser RFIE came to power, we have been able to pass the white, uh, is it the white paper, and we have been doing a lot on that. It's not enough. It's never enough. And we promise the good people of Kaduna State that we are on top of that matter, and we are doing even much more. Okay. And I can assure you that the good people of Kaduna State can testify that today we have massive improvement in security, and by the grace of God. When they trust us with their mandate again, we are going to solve that problem once and for all. A security okay. matter is not a matter of bullet, it's a matter of pen and paper. All right. And I can assure you that we are doing all we can to sort out that once and forever. And it's not a one day job. We are not magicians, we are human beings. And trust me, we are doing our very best and we'll keep doing it. We'll never get tired of serving the good. All right, thank you. Business. Thank you. All we ask for is for them to trust us with the mandate and vote for the student. Is that thank you? Thank you so much. Um uh Saturday is here, today is Thursday, tomorrow Friday, and Saturday will come upon us. May the best man win in Kaduna State. Only yeah, so power like comes from God, as they say. Call. Power comes from above. I would so like to call may the, the best man win. Of Thank you very much. Uh, we've been talking with Comrade Issa Abdurrahman, youth advocate for good governance in Kaduna State, and he's telling us the situation in uh, Kaduna. Though he's confident that he, the party he aligns with might win, but there are four contenders, according to um, experts, political experts, that are watching the state. And the race is between APC, PDP uh, at the topmost, and then we also have NNPP and LP. Four people contending or contesting uh, for the position of governor. Who is going to replace Nasir El Rufai? Saturday will tell. And we hope that INEC will do their own part as well and give confidence to Nigerians. That's how it's been on the show for tonight. My name is Nyam Gul. On behalf of the entire team, I say have a good night. Let's do it again tomorrow. Bye.